I'm not even clear how long you've been coming in to see me. It's been, what, six months? Uh, probably around there, yeah. And what got that started? You know, what had the, what set the occasion for you to come in? When you're in a medical environment, the way you get extra training is do a, to do a fellowship somewhere. I looked for an adolescent medicine fellowship and I couldn't find one. But there was a job open in a place called Boys Town, which I knew about. If the future of our country is to be secure from dangerous enemies from within. So, I mean, you can see this campus. You know, there's the church, there's the field house, there's the grounds. It's residential care. but. The term residential care doesn't bring to mind this kind of environment, right. not in this country. The kind of thing that's brought to mind by residential care is an austere, cold-looking, modernistic building with small windows, empty hallways, shift-level staff that carry a pound and a half of keys on their belt that don't Multiple interact. Multiple bunk beds in one room, they, kids yes. starting. You look in the mirror and you're like, who the f is this guy? Like, what am I doing here? And why did this happen to me? Nonetheless, I was very determined to get here, and I made it as far as the vestibule. I didn't get any further. Next thing I know, I'm in an ambulance and on my way to the hospital. I mean, obviously, your mother's death when you were nine years old really changed who your family was. It changed who you were. Do you think if she was still here that she would be proud of you, Neil? I know she would. And here, on this campus, you know, you raise your voice to a kid. That's the last day you're going to be on this campus. We're not going to have any, any kind of abuse on this campus and when people think about residential care what they've heard about residential care and it's actually accurate with most programs but this is obviously a different kind of a program it's very unfortunate that the category called residential care is one that we're kind of sucked up into we should yeah. probably have a category all our own why was I so determined to give this talk and the reason is I become uh, convinced uh, that the culture at large doesn't really care about the work that we do. That we may teach more effectively the lesson of proper citizenship by example as well as instruction.